Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. It is for my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce GTX 970 3.5 GB GPU. Actually, 4 GB. This one is the Asus ROG Strix version of the card. It comes already overclocked under the box. I'm not pushing it further, as you can see right here. And we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers, 516.94. You can see all of its specs here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z. It has 4 GB of GDDR5, but 512 megabytes are actually slower VRAM. So keep that in mind. Well, you don't need to keep anything in mind because it doesn't really affect the performance by all that much in most games. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. To avoid CPU bottlenecks, you should get around the same FPS if you pair it with like a 10th Gen i3, for example. You don't need a beefy CPU whatsoever to not bottleneck a GTX 970. So let's get right into the game now, shall we? First of all, let's go through the settings. We're playing at 1080p resolution, and if the FPS are too low, we're gonna drop it down to like 900 p and 720p but i think it can hold its own at 1080p so we will probably just mess around with other settings over here so we're starting off at minimum settings preset but with 100 resolution scale so it's native 1080p resolution and i didn't really touch anything else down here oh yuck the the, the textures are actually terrible we're gonna need to use like normal textures because four gigabyte cards can actually handle it on normal nope they cannot on low Okay. All right. So, um, it's actually worse than what I was expecting here. Oh, we're starting in first place. How awesome is that guy? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fifties and forties for a 970, it's actually close to what the GTX 1050 Ti got, I believe. Maybe that was with upscaling. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm not liking this too much. Honestly, guys thought it was going to get like 60 FPS. Um, in this game mode at 1080p, oh my gosh, low settings. Yeah, this is 1080p minimum settings preset, minimum. Uh, so that's pretty terrible, actually. It looks all right still. I wish minimum settings would look worse than it actually does. Uh, but uh, it's kind of bad, <laughs> the experience. It's not 60 FPS. The 970 is a much better card than a 1050 Ti and it can't really hold 60 FPS here. I wonder what the GTX 1060 will do in this game now. Will it be playable? Like 60 FPS at low settings? Now I'm not sure about that. I got two of them finally doing something. Let's go. All right, concentrate on the game. We should be able to do this. Where the heck are you? All right, got him, got him, got him. Got him. What the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> Just bots. All right, all right. I, I got used to playing round war mode with the 3050. It was pretty fun, actually. One, nice. Another one, nice. Um, yeah, this is also pretty fun with the bots and everything. You can get more kills. And there are still plenty of people running around. But I think the, the ground war mode was a little bit more chaotic. I, I think, like, at least in the smaller map, you know, there's a bigger map which uh, was a little bit more calm. <laughs> people were camping around the map. You couldn't really see anybody <laughs> very often. Uh, but uh, on the smaller one, it was chaos all over the place. Quite nice, actually. I enjoyed it. So the fact that it isn't getting 60 plus FPS in this mode in, in particular doesn't mean that it can't get 60 plus FPS in other modes. It's getting quite hard to control the weapon recoil and stuff like that with 40 FPS. I do not like that. We, we should definitely try some FSR here at 1080p. Actually, let's do NIS first. See how it looks. Uh, not balanced, please. Let's do ultra quality NIS. That should be enough to put us at 60 average at least. Oh, or well above that. Okay. Start counting the frames. That feels way better. Although you can definitely notice the drop in resolution. Very, very noticeable here. Damn, I don't even know where they're shooting me from. Camping bastards, stop being in every corner. Let's see it down here. Eh, it drops by a little bit. If it only drops by a little bit near water now, that means... Oh boy! Stop! 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 Nope! I got you still! <laughs> Do not turn your back in oh, to the enemy! Alright! Another one down there. Oh, see that blinking water thing? I've noticed that with the 3050 as well. What the heck is that guy doing there? Huh? Did he kill me? No! Was that a, an actual guy? No, this was a camping guy that just killed us, of course, but the other one was standing there. Was it a bot? I don't know. We will never know, guys. 
because we the other one didn't let us kill him. Ah! This is one of those where we're gonna get wrecked every single time, right? I'm second place and doing nothing, so that means that the rest of my team is doing even less nothing <laughs> than me. Oh, what the hell? There's a camera here, okay. Uh, there's one up there, he died. All right, enough for, for it. Uh, 1080p panel. Uh, if you are playing this game on a 1080p panel, I think that is pretty decent. With NIS, it should look pretty all right, although not native resolution, but close enough. And uh, the fact that it gets 60 plus FPS now is actually great. This is an 80 year old GPU after all, but it's still quite a, a popular one as well as a capable one. I, I've played a lot of newer titles with it, with like medium settings at 1080p. It gets close in performance to like an RX 570, although the 570 in newer games is a lot faster because of the better implementation of our, our, our <laughs> better implementation of DirectX 12 and Vulkan, the newer APIs. You know, basically this is a DirectX 12 title, so it will run a lot better on RX 570 compared to this one. We should start getting used to the idea that developers, as well as Nvidia themselves with the latest drivers, they don't really put a lot of work into optimizing games and the drivers for these old GPUs anymore. That's a big shame because like the 980 Ti, it still packs a bit of a punch in terms of raw performance, but I guess it will lose to like the 1650 Super these days, maybe. Maybe not actually, <laughs> but the 1660, you know, because that's also a six gigabyte card and much newer. Yeah, it's just the way things go. It's not forever, unfortunately. All right, let's go. Let's go up there if I can. There's a guy here. He's probably camping, looking at the door. We got him. There's another one. Oh my god. Double campers. But well, I think we've found the perfect settings for a GTX 970. At least we can still play at 1080p, although not really native, but with the upscaling uh, help. I'm stopping it right there, guys. 68 FPS average. And uh, I don't know, the 1% loss didn't really see it, but you guys know, of course. So let's enable some FSR 1.0 at ultra quality. Hopefully it's going to give us just a little bit extra FPS. Uh, 69 on average would be great. <laughs> let's go. It looks a little bit better than NIS, at least on my big monitor here, 32 inches. Uh, this is a 4K monitor, so 1080p doesn't really look anything special. Uh, at native 1080p, it would look much, much more impressive than it does to me right now. So I won't really comment too much on the quality side of things, but I can tell that it looks better than NIS, in my opinion. At least on ultra quality compared to ultra quality, you know. Quality FSR, I think, looks a little bit worse than quality NIS. There we go, nice. Okay, still good. Oh boy, what the hell just happened here? Did somebody shoot at me? From here, I don't understand. <laughs> Let's move on. Maybe they're camping around. Eh, probably not. I am the one camping around right now. There's one. Nice, got him. Uh, let's go, oh, there's one there, right there. No, 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 the other way. The o no, the other way. Are you serious? Are you stupid or what? Ah, the leaning mechanic is just broken. A little bit. Ah! 69 on average right now. That is good. That is definitely very good. And touching 80 FPS at times. You know, this is a playable experience, guys. You can even be a little bit competitive with this if you don't mind not having a high refresh rate experience. This is all right. And look at that. With this GPU, an older one, we don't have the dots under the water. Oh, maybe it's because there are no shadows under the bridge. We still have the dots there on the um, scope, you can definitely tell that. It looks pretty weird at times, but well, still in beta as well. Hopefully in the final release of the game, they will release like uh, FSR 2.0, which looks way better and it's way more impressive. Oh boy. Whoa, okay, well, I'll take it. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, there's one there. It's just a bot because of the armor. I shot the other tank first. I think we might actually be able, yes, to explode with it. Good job. All of these smoke effects only dropping slightly. That's nice, guys. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, we actually got one uh, by moving towards him. All right, another one down there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go, another one there. 
Let's go. I killed a bunch of them, so I'm happy with that. And really, look at that. The 69 FPS average it was real when I saw it. Now it's at 70. No, no, come on. I don't like it. 70 FPS is for noobs. Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Oh boy, what the hell? Everybody died there. Oh my gosh, so many explosions around us. That's impressive. I like it, I like it very much. And we died with the sniper guy. He's already there in the same spot as he was before. Seriously, seriously. But see guys, I am first place in my team, actually in the server, I have the highest score, and I'm playing with an 8 year old GPU. So you guys definitely can play with the GTX 970 as well and wreck some people, you know? You just need to use 1080p resolution and oh yeah, yeah, some uh, FSR on ultra quality. I actually recommend FSR over NIS in this one. It looks pretty good and it is very playable for sure not gonna try lower resolutions because it starts looking pretty bad and soft and i think we've found our sweet sweet spot already so yeah this is it this is how you should play this game and let's just wreck a few more people for fun while we're at it oh come on let's just go out then nice oh boy oh boy not from behind please not from behind there is another one there. Is he reviving the other one? I I guess it would. Like, one of the bots was reviving the other bot. That's interesting. Let's throw this out. Ah! All right, we still got this game. 70 FPS average. Just shy of the perfect number. I guess it's pretty much the same experience whether you choose NIS or FSR once again. I prefer FSR in this one, but you choose whatever you want. It's going to be playable, it's going to be enjoyable, it's going to drop from 60 from time to time, but I don't consider it a, a deal breaker at least. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. The 970 still surprised us today here in the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I hope the final game still runs pretty well here on this GPU. And again, this was the invasion mode. So in the normal multiplayer, you might actually be able to play on balanced preset, for example, a little bit more uh, better graphics. More better, not more better. That's not how you talk English, crisp talking. <laughs> all right, anyways, catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.